How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here, bringing you guys a brand new Let's Play of the game, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer for Nintendo 3DS. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Animal Crossing's heck. I even have all these awesome little plushies. You guys have seen my unboxing videos of the Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. You guys have watched my Animal Crossing New Leaf playthrough. Now, it's time for a brand new one. So, join up with me and KK Slider over here as we jump on in. Join the Happy Home Designer, as you can see. I'm wearing the nice and snazzy suit that they wear, uh, and we are ready to go. So, without further ado, thanks for watching. Thanks to each and every one of you guys who came out to the four-hour preview live stream that Nintendo allowed me. And uh, thanks to my friends over at Nintendo America for hooking me up with a copy of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer so I can play it for your entertainment purposes. Now, if you guys haven't gotten the game, go and grab it because the game's awesome. And by doing so, you'll also get one free Amiibo card. Yes. Now, um, you can get the Nintendo NFC Reader Writer, uh, which is at a suggested retail price of $19.99. Scan your Amiibo cards in there and have a lot of fun with it. So, you guys can stay tuned to my YouTube channel for all of the unboxings of those Amiibo cards. It's going to be great. But before we jump on in, um, you know, I wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for being there. Let's jump on in. We're going to start from scratch. I was able to erase my save file because I used the exact same copy in order to do the four-hour live stream. So, now we're just going to start from day one just like it never happened so let's go on in all right so we're gonna start it's gonna be very fun now this game is very heavily dependent on your trusty stylus so make sure you grab that and grab your creative designs get those uh, get those creative juices flowing so here we go all right Tom Nook today is the day our new employee arrives yes yes the new addition should be here at any open any moment so I shall use this time to double check the hiring forms hmm now, where have those hiring forms have gotten themselves off to? I'm certain they were right here. Pardon me, Lottie. Perhaps you know. Do you remember the new hire's name? What? You don't remember? Please, Mr. Nook. Try to keep it together. If I recall correctly, the name was... And then you get to input your name. Now, Nintendo has been doing a great job with adding more characters per name. So, my name is pretty long. It's eight characters long. I really appreciate the fact that we are able to put in my name. Woohoo! all eight characters let's jump on in my name's abdallah <laughs> nice to meet you guys all right yes that's it i'm sure of it the new hire's name is abdallah right right honestly mr nook you really need to keep better track of these things well at least it's better than professor oak asking are you a boy or a girl <laughs> oh pokemon all right oh oh ho i certainly blanked out on that name for a moment and it's such a nice name too a rare moment of forgetfulness for me. I'm sure it won't happen again. Now, from what I recall, this new employee happens to be a boy. But I'm certain that he's a boy. Am I certain? Yeah, yeah. Actually, she's a girl. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, he's a boy, of course. Now, if only I could remember what he looks like. See, this is cool because it's backtracking his memory. And at the same time, if you guys have played the previous Animal Crossing installments, the way your character turns out is fully dependent on what questions you answer during your trip to your town. So now this is a, a lot different because uh, we actually get to choose what our eyes want to look like, what color they get to be. Uh, what color do we like? This dark blue? This light blue? Uh, we'll go with this blue. And what color skin? Uh, I'm pretty fair skin, so we'll go, with, uh, we'll go with this one here. And you get to choose a hairstyle too. This is really awesome. You don't have to go to Harriet for uh, a haircut. You get to start off right off the bat. I wonder if Harriet's in the game. Interesting. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with this. Uh, I don't think you can choose nose or anything like that, but that's a generic nose. We'll go with it. Of course. This is what he looks like. Yes. Of course it is. Hey. Now, as you can see, I'm not wearing my snazzy red suit and yellow tie. Of course. Not yet. I've got to get that. Uh, I remember him perfectly now. There's no forgetting a person like Abdallah. Thanks, Tom. That was awesome. Oh, <laughs> oh good morning, Abdallah. Welcome to Nook's Homes. Come in. Allow me to introduce you to everyone. Yes, yes. All right, so we see Digby over there and Lottie, which is a very brand new Animal Crossing character. Everyone, this is Abdallah. Starting today, he'll be working with us here at Nook's Homes. Yay! Perhaps I should give you a quick introduction to each of your new colleagues, hmm? This fellow here is Lyle. Now, I was lucky enough to get the Lyle Animal Crossing Amiibo card inside my pack of uh, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. That's pretty cool. 
Bang. Nice to meet you, Abdallah. Elisle is something of a veteran in the office. He's been here almost as long as I have. In fact, he's so good at what he does, even I don't quite understand what he's doing most of the time. Ha ha ha, I'm kidding, of course. I know how everything works. <laughs> now then, next is our dog about town, Digby. Nice to meet you. My name's Digby. It's a real pleasure to have you working here with us, Abdallah. I hope we'll get a chance to work together on a project really soon. Digby is certainly one of our most enthusiastic employees, as you may have gathered. Finally, let me introduce Lottie. Um, <clears throat> Lottie? Yes? Oh, hi there. Lottie is an exceptional employee and a consummate professional. She's also an expert in home design. Lottie will be handling your training as well, so pay attention and follow her advice. As you all know, I'm very busy raccoon, so that wraps up today's meeting. Lottie, he's all yours. Goodbye, my obedient employees. Busy, busy, oh so busy. Uh-huh. What are we going to do now? All right, that boss of ours, he likes to complain about his busy schedule, even though we all know he's just rushing off to make his tea time. Ha! Huh. Well, enough about golf. Let's get you settled in. We're also glad you joined the company, Abdallah. I'm sure you can't wait to hear about all the work you'll be doing at Nook's home, so let's get right to it. To start, I want you to do a simple interior remodel on a client's home. You'll pick out the new wallpaper, new carpets, and furniture. Basically, you're going to give the room a complete makeover. There is a practice room already for you. I'll come along and teach you the basics. But before we get started, you should take this. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm already wearing it, guys. What do you know? There's a changing room upstairs, so head on up and change into your official uniform, Abdallah. I'll be waiting right here. Come and get me when you're ready. Okay, we're going to go upstairs into the changing room because we got to look as snappy as I do in this thing. So let's go. Changing room right here. We're going to jump on in and we're going to say hello to Gizmo. Hello, Gizmo. Hey, bud. How you doing? Okay. Gizmo says hi. All right, well, there we have it. We are changed into this awesome suit like we're wearing right now, and we're pretty pumped up. I'm excited. I'm very excited for it. All right, uh, as you can see, there's a Nintendo 3DS right over here, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's pop that bad boy open. Oh, it looks like someone is in the middle of playing. Let's leave it for a moment. So that's pretty cool. A new Nintendo 3DS XL. Now, in case you guys do have a new Nintendo 3DS XL like I do right over here, um, make sure that you guys tap your Amiibo cards onto there. If you don't have a new Nintendo 3DS XL or new Nintendo 3DS, you'll have to get the Reader Writer NFC. So, uh, yeah, keep that in mind. All right, well, here we go. We're all changed. We're all snazzy. We're ready to do some business. Let's get to work, shall we? And as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, 30th anniversary Mario gold pin there. All right, Mr. Nook likes to see his employees wear the company uniform, so make sure you wear it tomorrow. Of course, you can accessorize your uniform however you'd like. Use the changing room for that. Are you ready to learn all about interior design? Great, let's go. All right, I'm pretty pumped up. Now, I'm, I'm pretty much a veteran with the controls because I've been playing this during that live stream. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys have watched the live stream. There's going to be a link to it. Of course, you guys can click on that. All right, your training is officially underway. By the way, this is a real home you're working on, so take good care of the place. The client who lives here is a girl who is a fan of all things cute. She requested a room with a lovely atmosphere. So let's turn this empty space into something lovely, shall we? First, let's see what's inside that cardboard box over there. To open it, just tap the rectangular block on the touchscreen. All right, so you guys can see right up above me over here is the exact touch screen on the bottom screen of our Nintendo 3DS over here. So tap that, and what do we have here? It's a lovely sofa or a lovely love seat. Awesome. Uh, this is actually one of the client's most prized possessions. You'll find clients often have pieces they're very att attached to. All right, uh, they love it when you incorporate their pieces into your design, so be sure to do so. Of course, you can't just plop furniture down any old way and expect that to work, so let me explain how to change a piece of furniture's orientation. To do that, you tap the block on the touchscreen just like you did before. Go ahead and give it a try. All right, so tap it, and it rotates. Great, you're a fast learner. I like that. Next up, let's talk about how to move things. It's a cinch. Just drag the block on the touchscreen to wherever you want to place it. It's time for your first big decision. Where do you want to put that lovely love seat? Well, that's a good question. Uh, let's put it over here, uh, right by the window. Cool, huh? You get a little bit of sunlight behind you. Why not? Yes, just like that. Now you know how to place and orient furniture like a pro. All right, which you are, of course. 
But this room is going to need some more than a single love seat uh, before we can call it done. Tap on the leaf icon on the touchscreen to open up the furniture catalog and select more items. Find a piece of furniture you like, tap it and select it, and then uh, put it someplace. Easy peasy. Sounds easy, right? All right, so uh, we're going to tap this furniture icon. Uh, looks like we got a lovely bed. Tap it, bam. There you have it. And that's how you choose furniture to suit your client's tastes. But furniture isn't the only tool in the home designer's toolkit. Wall decorations are also important. Explore your options with the yellow tab and pick out something snazzy. All right, so this is cool. So the yellow tab uh, shows everything that you can hang on the walls. Uh, so we can uh, throw a lovely clock. Why not? There we go. A bold choice. I like it. It's amazing for me how to see different designers have such different styles of uh, senses of style. Oh, I almost forgot about wallpaper and flooring. Those are two crucial elements of home design. Open the wallpaper and flooring catalog. Uh, all you have to do is press the pink little icon and choose something you like. Once you make your choice, then press B or tap that in the corner to ch close the catalog. Okay, easy. So we're going to pick the pink one. Now, this is all about wallpaper and flooring. We're going to do the, um, what should we do? Lovely wall. Yeah, let's try lovely wall. Pretty cool. Matches, right? For those of you guys who played the previous Animal Crossing games, it's always good to have matching, um, matching floor and wall. But it doesn't look like we have a lovely floor, so let's just go with some, uh, some birch. Right, this is our neutral floor. Yeah, we like neutral. Neutral is a little bit better than birch because it's a little brighter. I like that. All right, so we're going to go back. Done. All right, look at that. Do you see how you can change the room's atmosphere by changing the walls and the floors? All right. Now let's place a rug to complete the room's design. It's like a cherry on top of a sundae. Tap the rug icon to pick out a rug. All right, cool. So you can pick rugs. Oh, we're going to go. we got to go with a heart rug. Let's go with a medium heart rug right in the middle. Bam. Okay, you, my dear, are a natural at home design. Amazing! Now, to round out the training, why don't you go ahead and place any furniture you like? Feel free to take another look at the client's request, whatever you want, by tapping the, the uh, little icon on the touchscreen. Also, if you ever want to get rid of furniture you've already placed, just drag that item to the trash can. Very nice. Oh, there's one more thing. You can use the uh, D-pad to change your point of view and look around the room. I'm sure you'll get some new ideas when you change your perspective, so try different angles. All right, Abdallah, now you can go about designing this room however you like. I'll play the part of the client here. So come and talk to me when you think you're done. I'll be waiting. All right, so this is always fun because now it's the part of the game where your creative juices can start flowing. We can work some magic, some Abdallah magic. Of course, so we're going to work some Abdallah magic and we're going to have a fun time doing it. Now, during the live stream, it was really awesome. We were talking to the comment section. They were coming up with ideas and we were incorporating it into the room. I definitely want to do that in the future, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but for today, uh, we're going to see what we can do about replicating uh, what we did earlier and or just starting anew. Uh, well, it looks like we get uh, we could throw a table, a lovely table. Let's throw a lovely table somewhere. You press it and voila, it's right over here. Bam, lovely table. What about chairs? Whenever you have a table, you got to have some chairs, right? What do you know? Here's a lovely chair. Done. And let's go. We might as well go with like two lovely chairs. What if uh, Lottie wants to have uh, company over here, right? You need another place for someone to sit. There we go. We're going to rotate this one so it faces that. And I guess we can have that one face that one there too. Why not? All right. So what else do we got? We got a rug. Let's kind of move the rug so it's directly in the middle. I like that. The bed, of course, we can throw the bed over that way. We'll throw the clock right over here so that when you're in bed, right? When you're in bed and you just wake up in your lovely room that I designed for you, you can see exactly what time it is just by looking straight up on the wall. That's a cool concept. All right, so what other kind of furniture are we looking at? Uh, we can do a bookcase. We can do an armoire. We can do a dresser. All right, well, hmm. I guess we can throw a dresser. How about we do that? We'll throw this dresser. We'll rotate it. We'll throw this dresser right over here. So there we have it. A dresser, wake up, walk across over there, done. All right, so dresser's pretty cool. We can go with a cabinet or an armoire. We can go with a computer desk. What is this over here? Is this a little laptop? Oh, that's a pretty cute little laptop right there, huh? Well, where can we put this thing? I guess we can put it right here, right? Do a little bit of work. Sit down. Actually, let's put it on the other side. Okay, so we can do a little bit of work. Just um, move the move the chair around to the other side and uh, do some work on the laptop. Very cute. All right, what else we got? Uh, we've got so we got a toilet. We've got a clawfoot tub in case we wanted to. Uh, we got a shower. Ooh, a refrigerator. A stove. A lovely kitchen. A toilet. 
and a tub. Okay, so lamps, uh, we can do that. We can add a lamp, right? A lamp is something that can go um, on the floor. I'll throw this lamp in the corner right here, okay? So in case we wanted to go up to it, hit the lights, bam, put it on. And of course, uh, what else are we gonna do? You know, I think we're good. I think this room looks pretty awesome. Is there anything else to put on the wall? Do I have any, oh, I do have a flower paint, oh, portrait right over here, so. Let's just throw that right directly above the table. That's pretty awesome. All right, sweet. Lottie, what do you think? What do you guys think? Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, are you done already? All done. Excellent. It seems you've done a fairly decent job. Let's take a closer look, shall we? All right, so now is the time where we get some awesome panoramic scenes of the um, Animal Crossing animal and your awesome creation. And if you wanted to, you can take a picture by clicking on the uh, left and right buttons right up top here, the left and right triggers. So that's pretty cool. Very fun. Ooh, look at that cool room. We gotta take a picture of that. Bam! We'll add it to the photo album. Very cool. I think we did very good. I don't know if we recreated what we did on the live stream, but everything that you guys wanted to see happen on that live stream was too cool. Anyway, so yeah, I think we're done here. So who is this room for? Who is the client? Oh, wow, look at this place. I can't believe I get to live in such a lovely room. Thanks so much. Oh, did I forget to mention that this is actually my house? I just bought the place, but work has kept me so busy that I haven't had time to decorate. To tell you the truth, I've been cuddling up in a sleeping bag on the bare floor. Ridiculous, right? But it looks like a little help from a promising new designer was just what I needed. I'll be sure to let the boss know you passed your training with flying colors. Now then, I think it's time we head back to the office. Let's go. That was pretty fun, right? Okay, we get a little bit of autosave. Very cool. All right, so here we go. Uh, be honest. Did you love your first day on the job? You did really well, so I bet you loved it. But you can be upfront with me if you didn't love the job. I want, what I want to know is, can you handle it? I was born to do this. Are you kidding me? Just as I thought, you really are the right person for the job. I'm so glad to hear that you thought so too. As a matter of fact, I'm really impressed with the way you decorated the room for me today. We guarantee satisfaction here at Nook's home, so I had to make sure you were up to snuff. In a perfect world, I've had a few more months to train you properly, but I can't hold you back forever. We have a client scheduled to come in tomorrow morning to talk about an interior remodel request. I'm going to let you take on that uh, as your first real customer job. You've got a big day tomorrow, so you can head home, but you have to write a daily report for it first. Let me show you your desk. It's right over here. All right, so I get my own desk. I got to write my own reports. This is cool. Your desk and chair are back here on the left, so take a seat and write your daily report. You need to write up a report every day when you're finished with your work. It's a little details like this that keeps Nook's Homes running like a well-oiled machine. Chug, chug. Thanks for all your hard work today, Tiger. Keep it up. What's a daily report? Okay, let's find out. Sit down at your desk and write up your daily report and save the day's work. Business hours are over, but you can keep playing, uh, working. After saving, click continue to move on to the next day's work or select quit to stop playing. All right, let's do it. We're going to save and we're going to write our report. What did we enjoy about today's episode? Okay, yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to write the report, but I'm going to ask each and every one of you guys to write the report. What did you enjoy about today's episode? Write me a report in the comment section below. Did you guys enjoy the episode? Did you guys enjoy the lovely set? What would you do differently? Let me know. I can't wait to hear it. So here we go. We are officially saved. Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer has a function to send gameplay to Nintendo. Of course, we're going to share with that. Done. Whenever Nintendo asks us, you always do it. Why not? All right, we're going to send the data. Okay, it's that easy. Thank you. You have set the game to send gameplay data. You can change the setting anytime you want. All right, cool. As a thanks for sharing your gameplay data, we'd like to give you this item for the game. A compact car! <laughs> okay, continue with the game. We're actually going to quit. It is the end of the episode. It's around the 20-minute mark. No worries. It's all good in the hood. The Animal Crossing hood, that is. All right, so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the official first episode of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. The episode was amazing. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely leave a like. 
um, and comment about what you enjoyed most about it. Leave me the daily report in the comment section below. I love that. Now, of course, I talked to you guys earlier about um, Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. We're going to be giving away Animal Crossing Amiibo cards every single episode. So a little bit later on throughout the Let's Play, we're going to make a huge announcement and we're going to pick people from the comment section. So definitely, if you're interested in that, check out the description for all the rules on how you can enter. All you have to do is literally leave a comment, like the video, share the video with a friend, all that fun stuff. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. Bye now. Thanks for watching today's episode, guys. If you have more time today, by all means, check out the annotations on screen to catch up on some of my recent playlists, such as the Animal Crossing Amiibo card unboxing videos. Those are awesome. You guys would love to see which Animal Crossing cards I get. And the very awesome Let's Play series of Animal Crossing New Leaf that happened a couple years ago on my YouTube channel. Still very awesome episodes. And of course, if you guys haven't already, check out the newly launched patreon.com slash Abdallah smash 026. It's a way that members of the Abdallah Nation, each and every one of you guys, can help support me even further with fueling the awesome Nintendo content. And plus, you may get some rewards, such as autographed business cards from yours truly, Animal Crossing Amiibo cards, or you might even get your name scrolling throughout this last end card on future episodes. So show your support, be a part of the Abdallah Nation, and uh, yeah, that definitely helps out. So thanks, guys. Go ahead. Click on one of those. Or if you're on mobile, just click on the links in the description. They're all there. Do it. I'll wait right here. Work that Abdallah magic.